Elizabeth Alexandra Mary Windsor, known as Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, died on September 8, 2022, at the age of 96. In this episode, instead of our usual investigation kind of thing, we'll pay tribute to one of the most admired monarchs to have ever lived, walk you through her remarkable life story, and talk about her death. First things first, Queen Elizabeth II was not meant to be the queen. Here's the thing. Once upon a time in Great Britain, there lived two royal brothers, Prince Edward and Prince Albert. Prince Edward was the elder of the two and eventually became the king. But a little less than a year later, he abdicated. Long story short, he wanted to marry a divorced woman, but for a monarch, such a bold maneuver was unacceptable. So, his younger brother, Prince Albert, replaced him at the throne and became King George VI. Albert became George? Yeah, the royals get to pick their reignal name. Anyway, born in 1926, Elizabeth was King George's first child and thus heir presumptive, which basically means the next in line to the throne. But if her parents had subsequently born a son, he would have been the next monarch, not her. That's due to the rule that sons always come before daughters in the line of succession. That never happened though, and eventually after her father's death in 1952, the 26-year-old Princess Elizabeth of York became Queen Elizabeth II. During Elizabeth's reign, she completed one of the most important democratic transformations of the 20th century. The once dominant British Empire was turned into the Commonwealth of Nations, comprising 56 independent sovereign states. In 1997, with the transfer of Hong Kong to China, the largest empire in history that once comprised almost a quarter of the world's population and territory ceased its existence. And that's for good. Empires do not do well in the modern world, as you know. A lot has happened during the Elizabethan era that spanned seven decades. In fact, she's the only British monarch who celebrated all jubilees. Silver in 1977, golden in 2002, diamond in 2012, and finally her platinum jubilee in 2022. We must say that whether she was 26 or 96, Her Majesty always looked great. The Queen knew how to put a charming smile on her face. Oh, and her legendary <laughs> sense of humor. The world needs more people like her. All right, back to the story. Not all years were successful for the Queen and the monarchy. The Crown doesn't like talking about it, but the Queen survived three assassinations. The first one in 1970 in Australia, when the assassins had placed a log on the train tracks in an attempt to derail the coaches as the Queen's train was coming through. Luckily, the train was traveling too slow, and no real damage was caused. The second attempt was in 1981 in London where crowds gathered to watch the queen attending the ceremony on horseback. A 17-year-old kid fired six blank shots at the queen. The queen's horse was startled, but she kept on riding, unharmed. The third and final one was also in 1981 in New Zealand. Yet another kid with attention deficit syndrome fired his rifle at the queen as she was alighting from a vehicle. The shot missed the target. Among the other not-so-good moments of queen's life was August of 1997 when her daughter-in-law, ex-wife of her son, Diana, Princess of Wales, died in a horrific car crash in Alma Tunnel in Paris. Loud breakup with Prince Charles, a new lover, son of a billionaire, Diana's interviews damaging the reputation of the royal family, a paparazzi chase, and finally the crash, very suspicious crash. Many people believe that the British royals and perhaps the queen herself were somehow involved in it. We reviewed Diana's case some time ago, Take a look, it's one of our best ones. But enough of the sad things and hardships of the Queen's life. Let's take a look at the list of influential people she had personally met. Marilyn Monroe, they were actually the same age, Michael Jackson, John Kennedy, John Lennon, Winston Churchill, Frank Sinatra, Nelson Mandela, Mother Teresa. This list could go on and on forever. All of these people bowed their heads and curtsied before the Queen. The Queen was aging gracefully, and up until the death of her husband, Prince Philip in 2021, she was doing fantastic. The first sign of her declining health was the stick she began to use for public engagements after October 2021. In February of 2022, the Queen got COVID but was back to normal in March. A few months later, Great Britain and the Commonwealth celebrated the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. 70 years of service. Incredible. Unfortunately, the Jubilee year came to an abrupt end. London Bridge is down. I repeat, 
London Bridge is down! The Queen had died. The royal family issued a statement. On September 8th, the Queen died peacefully surrounded by her family in Balmoral Castle in Scotland. She was 96 years old. The official cause of death wasn't disclosed, but honestly, we're not interested in digging deeper than what was written in the official statements. Queen Elizabeth II had a remarkable life and was a true symbol of honesty, dedication, family values, stability, and peace. We'll leave you with her famous smile for one last time. This is the story of Queen Elizabeth II's life and death. This is how it was. All right, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you won't miss new episodes.